Hello and welcome back to False Ultram. Ultram. So okay, we're fast again. I remember last episode. We are so slow, so it's just the game glitching or something. So what do we do? Oh, we we have shovel. And then what? Playing iron key. Where that key goes? We go down. I don't know where we're supposed to go. Ah. <laughs> oh. Why the kitchen room open? <gasps> Who's throwing plates? No, stop it! Oh no. What? Safe. I'm scared. Take a knife. Oh, that's not knife. <laughs> Did I say nice? <laughs> oh no. What is this? Broken plate fragments scattered the floor. <gasps> Gold plate fragment. Is there anything else? Uh, yellow liquid. Is it open here? Locked. Ah! ah I almost got bitten. Bitten? Hit. <laughs> Stop it! Who's that? What am I supposed to do with this glass? Oh, we get matches? Cool. Uh, no. Uh, safe. Uh, split the two. No, give it to the mouth. Why we... Nothing. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, I get map? What? Oh. Uh, stop scaring me! Hell? And what with the eyes? So I noticed that the room with like the feather is where we can save. Um, so, where are we supposed to go? I asked my brother to store my eyes in the glass jar because it was scary at night. There aren't any lights. What? What? Ah, mouse. Mouse. Ah. 
I don't know where we were supposed to go. Sharp plate fragments. Where sh where can we use it? All right. So apparently, you use the sharp thingy fragment here. That was the mouth. Yeah. But the face was still empty. So and then we use the fish eye. Safety the push the paint. Ah, <sighs> that's a weird way to open a deposit painting. And I guess we should hang it. We should hang it to the thing, right? Um, where is it again? Down, right? I forgot everything. Here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, I guess. Yep. That's our brother what do you mean something being open traveled in room outside the window room outside the window is that kitchen I thought the little brother made the house from brick and then they s survive the big bad wolf. Uh. Ah! I didn't even hit you, mouse! Okay, it's open. <gasps> We're outside. We're outside. What should we do? I forgot to save. Save real quick. What do we do? What's here? Fresh flower will cover in small box. Huh? Shovel? Oh, there, 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 I saw X. I shovel. Trace in disturbance in the fall. Soil, dig it up with the spade here. That's mother! Yellow gem? Press bracelet? A piece of old tattered paper barely legible through the traces of dirt. What is that? Crunch, crunch, crunch. The cat in boots ate the monster. <gasps> Red. <laughs> now what? Bracelet with bells. Is that the cat collar? No jump scare. No jump scare. Uh, safe. Wait, no mouse? Oh, there's mouse. No, I don't know. Oh, 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 I, I guess the room, right? The party room. Ah! 
I didn't even hit you, mouse. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Big bad wolf. Big bad wolf. Oh, no, 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 not here. Here. There. Is anyone there? There was no answer, but the mail slot flipped open with a quick click. Elizabeth inhaled sharply, but still peered into the darkness with relative calm. She didn't want to stick her head inside, so only pushed the rock in and didn't hear it fall to the ground. A long silence. She parted. What now? It's here! She could make out host in conversation. I don't care, I'm so bored. Let's play a game. A scattering of slightly hysterical laughter. Come on, let's play a game. Huh? Hide and seek. You know how to play, right? It's hide and seek. You're it. What? She almost fell into the doorway as the door opened suddenly. There are your children. Three figures, fully a head shorter than her, scurried out. Her eyes only caught the, ho the hems of their shirts before they swiftly vanished down the stairs, leaving behind only echoes of their laughter. But can we go in the oh, diary? Novnebel. Oh no. Wait, that's not Marguerite's diary. Marguerite's situation is quite strange. Oh, 16 of Nebel? Who is Nebel? Is that a name? She hides herself in the blankets and starts at every sound. Uh, starts at every sound. I can't even go into the room. Dr. Wagner seems to know something, but as usual, tells me nothing. We were relieved when her condition seemed to improve a few days ago. Now it seems to have been a lie. Snake, what? I braved the snow to come to the hospital and happened upon Dr. Wagner. She had cancelled her plans because of the weather. Marguerite still hides behind a firmly shut door and the occasional teary sniffle makes it makes its way out. What on earth is wrong? She's been like this before, but would break out into a smile whenever she saw me. The heavy snow has halted traffic and the doctor is worried that his studies will be forced to terminate if more supplies do not arrive soon. What kind of research is, is it that causes him to always have to cover large distances to source material instead of obtaining it from nearby towns? I am happy to help if, it's, if it helps Marguerite's situation. Despite saying this, the doctor still refuses, me to let, to, refuses to let me enter the cellar. Weak-looking patients con continuously emerge from the door. Perhaps it's better if I stay well. I will build my house with bricks. He had no chance. Now you're to Des with Z. I hurried to leave the hospital while traffic was still moving. Although Marguerite's condition is very concerning, the situation is an improved if I continue to stay there. It's been like this from the start. She could always see things we couldn't or talk in languages we couldn't understand or answer. Mr. Valentin believes she is, in, she is intentionally causing trouble. I wish they would understand otherwise Mother Marguerite will never get better. No one at home expects Marguerite to come home anymore. Or perhaps the hospital is her home now. And the doctor who's been a constant presence since childhood is her mother. Uh, the memories are barely there. 
when I was as close as a stray cat, she was the, o- the one who smiled and extended a hand. She is the, she is the re- reason I exist today. I will definitely go back and visit with flowers. I'm willing to do anything for a glimpse of her smile again. Her brother? It's a family, right? Oh, we got chocolate! Yay! Oh, what is this? It's been thrown in. Oh, I got it back? <laughs> really? <laughs> was locked. Day garden. Small hand axe! What? Hand axe? The stone from phonograph stock as soon as it was disturbed. Why is there there's a red arrow? It wasn't locked but yet the door wouldn't open. Play it again. Oh no, it's gonna be jump scare again, right? <gasps> Cat <sighs> So the kids are downstairs. Uh, I forgot to save. Let's save. <gasps> Still throwing plates? What? Yeah, save. What is this? Should we check the uh, garden pond? Nothing. Still red. Guess nothing we could do here. <laughs> Ugh! Everything! Everything is scary! Everything! Everything startled me. Are you here? Anyone here? Cat, stay with me forever. Wait, Cat, do you want the bracelet? Or. I don't know. Display room. Where's the kids? Social butterfly. Kids, kids, where are you? Alright, so apparently there's cracked floor here. I didn't notice that. We can use hand axe. Bang. No? Now we have to stand above it. There's a crack in the floor, like it would easily break if that upon. Hi, yes. <sighs> there, now we go down. Oh, library? Library? Paper and ink. Okay, safe, safe, safe. 
Astrology and life, the Wheel of Fortune is a particularly unique tarot card. A wheel com compri comprised of three concer concentric circles hangs in the middle of the card. The innermost one represents creativity, the middle one symbolizes the forces of being, with the outmost one standing for the physical world. There are no symbols on the smallest ring as creative potential is infinite. Okay. Now what? What? Is this puzzle? What? Something shiny was on top of a bookcase, although it's a bit tall, she could just barely reach it if she stepped here and... Oh dear, this is rather dangerous. The shadow suddenly flowed down. Locks the color of black's widow spider swept Elizabeth's face. The demon smiled beneath its eyelashes in stark contrast to Elizabeth's white eyes there. The black cat emitted a high-pitched screech and jumped away, snagging the dress in the process. Oh darn it, not again. There was no way of knowing where to find it again. What? Who are you looking for? That fellow? I think you should refrain from spending time with that. Huh? It follows, went around for no reason. It's quite serious and a bit of fussy to boot. It's, it threw a fit over the smallest thing. Best to stay away, far away from it if you don't want needless drama. The demon cocked its head and nattered away incessantly. But it's the only thing here that helps me, Elizabeth mumbled. Huh? What? What's that you say? No one here will help you. But I can help you if you want. You, all, you only have to ask. You want this, right? The shiny thing was revealed to be key when the demon plucked it. Here you go! The key was brought next to Elizabeth's face with surprising straightforwardness. This sudden gesture of kindness actually made her feel uneasy. I can't get it myself, Elizabeth said as she withdrew her hand, to which the demon raised an eyebrow. Those purple lips smirked and it didn't move back to give Elizabeth any space. Alright then, get it yourself. The key flew back up to top. No, oh, it's too tall! To jump up there. Who can jump up there? Must be have something to do with this, right? We can move this. Oh, can we move the chair? I don't think so. No. No. So can we move this? But where to? here open from the inside oh we're here <sighs> now what I'm suck at this game I cannot do anything <laughs> I don't know where to do where where to do things and how How can people beat this without the walkthrough? 
So we were right about that. Apparently you're not supposed to step on it. We're supposed to get the paper. Dum dum. How can you not realize? A few torn scraps of paper. Okay, Regin. I visited the hospital again and so did he. He called himself the doctor's research partner, but he seemed very unwelcome. I've seen how he interacts with Marguerite, and it's the first time I've seen her smile so happily at someone else. Although I'm loath to admit it, but perhaps he is better suited to keep her company than I am. Please respond to her love and kind. I implored him. Marguerite is willing to meet with me. It seems that she isolated herself after she was forbidden to meet with him. After all, she's one of the research sponsor. His target is the doctor and me. Anyone could see that. Strange noises are emitted from the laboratory at night. Are there rats in this establishment? The weather has deteriorated so much that the trains have stopped running. It is my first night here. One short night has been enough to change my mind about this place. How does Marguerite endure such a sinister place night after night? He left after giving me the key to the cellar. I have no idea where he went after that. After he left. The wind and snow show no signs of stopping. Strange chattering sounds make sense with the winter wind are coming from the downstairs. I will sneak downstairs for a peek when the doctor returns to his room. Put it with the old diary. The sound of song played by the record player came from afar. Is it from the kitchen? A different song. <gasps> That's different. A scene that had been seen before somewhere. Is this the hospital? What? Oh. Okay. Go downstairs. Oh, yes, yeah, safe. Oh, puzzle again, huh? Memo. Uh, 25th October. He came to visit the mayor's poor daughter. Margaret is the mayor's daughter? I, I don't know when they meet each other. This is really quite devious. Is he here to expose me or to take away my benefactor? I know he's not interested in her. It's, pl it's plain to see who he's really looking at. Oh, safe again. <gasps> what? What? Uh, what is 
is this? No. 5th November. I had to say the triplets were house imps after Margaret accidentally saw them. What? House imps? What? Snow come down hard and cover the tracks, but I'm running out of materials. This is getting quite alarming. Oh, so the most targeting? Oh, okay. Memo: The mayor's eyes will be staying the night. Must lock the door. A well-worn and dusty journal sits on the table. A fountain pen sits between two of the pages. A bullet-pointed list starts at the top, but stains have be have covered a lot of words. The first couple of lines are crossed out for some reason. List. Jan, public hospital blood supply is running low. Opportunity to lure back customers. Emma Wolf, Seven Pins, Hilda. Kidney and liver discard other than heart Pomia. It's like human uh what is it called or organ trafficking. <laughs> Margaret <gasps> Run Flowers who bloomed at her side confess to her for me. Give her my wishes, tell her she is lovely and that night and day my heart pines for love or of her reveal to her soul the secret of my flame let it breathe out with you sweetest fragrances speak for me may she be acquainted with the passion she has roused and of which my troubled heart has not breathed a word Faust the flower's song Here again, and cat, you're here. Cat, what are you doing here? Elizabeth bent down, but the cat didn't run away as she'd expected it to. Ah, oh, yes, this is for you, she said. She took out the bracelet, bracelet from her pocket, wiped off the dust on the bell, and gently put it on the cat. <gasps> cat, you're here again. Ooh, what is this? Key with the label. Data room. Alright. Safe. And let's end the episode here. Because I'm scared. I cannot handle it anymore today. <laughs> let's try again tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please leave a like. If you're new, subscribe and ring the bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
Oh, 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 oh,